classified, but the title was uh, uh, KSM, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, preeminent source on Al Qaeda. He's the guy who got waterboarded more than anybody else. Uh, I think uh, what we did to help ultimately produce the intelligence we needed to be able to get uh, bin Laden. And uh, so I supported it wholeheartedly. Uh, I still do to this day, prepared to, to defend it and debate it and argue it. Um, this was a period of time when we had been uh, attacked, lost 3,000 people. We lost more people on 9-11 than we lost at Pearl Harbor. That's Is it the right move to discontinue those programs today? If it were my call, I would not discontinue those programs. I'd have them active and ready to go, and uh, I'd go back and study them and learn. Uh, the agency's in a difficult position. Uh, the Congress has acted, they have changed the law, uh, and the agency ha has to and will operate by that statute. But, uh, you know, there are a lot of Monday morning quarterbacks in the terrorism business. And uh, people who, you know, if they really had to make the decision, if it was their call, if you know Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is the mastermind behind all of this, if you know he is number two to bin Laden in terms of the attack, if you know he's probably the guy who knows more than anybody else except bin Laden, what's next, what's the next target, how many people are they going to kill and how are they going to do it. Um, and then uh, you tell me that uh, the only method we have is please, please, pretty please tell us what you know. Well, I don't buy that. And I think uh, the uh, techniques we used were not torture. Uh, it's, a lot of people try to call it that but it wasn't deemed torture at the time. The techniques we use are techniques we use on our own people in training. We didn't go out and make them up someplace. The president signed off, I signed off, and the Security Council signed off. Uh, they did a good job. They got the intelligence they needed, and um, uh, we were safe from any further mass casualty attacks in the seven and a half years on our watch. So now people want to go back and try to rewrite history, but if it were my call, I'd do it again. Skeeter, Skeeter Libby, of course, was pardoned. Your reaction? Skeeter was my chief of staff and uh, worked for me in the Pentagon as well as at the White House. A great guy, a fantastic attorney, um, just an all-around prince. He was uh, charged under phony circumstances uh, by a special prosecutor who was brought in by James Comey and uh, charged with uh, having leaked the identity of a CIA employee. Um, and the fact of the matter was, he didn't. Uh, that, in fact, uh, Rich Armitage at State was the leaker of the identity of uh, uh, Valerie Plain. And Valerie Plain was not covered by the statute that made it unlawful to reveal the name of a CIA employee. And that was the situation. And then the uh, special prosecutor wasn't willing to stand up and say there's no crime here. They went to work trying to drum up a charge. Finally brought charges against Scooter. Ultimately, uh, went to uh, Scooter's attorneys and told them that if Scooter would testify against me, uh, they'd drop all charges against Scooter. It was that bad a deal. That's incredible. <clears throat> In the end, uh, Scooter was convicted, uh, unlawfully so, a total drummed up charge. Um, he's now been pardoned. Uh, President Bush commuted his sentence, uh, and uh, President Trump now has uh, pardoned him. Uh, he was a totally innocent man. Uh, and I want to thank the president for having done that. It's a, a good move, and a lot of us who are familiar with the case, who know and love Scooter Libby, um, really appreciate the fact that he's now been deemed innocent, and uh, that's what should have happened. It was all a phony deal from the very beginning. My thanks to Vice President Dick Cheney. Could there be a possible truce between the Justice Department and House Intel Chairman Devin Nunes over requested documents in the Robert Mueller investigation? We're talking about that next. Plus, why one 